Hi guys, I'm Phil and welcome back to the channel. Now this video is going to be a little bit different today. Now, as you can see, I'm surrounded by hot rods, not motorcycles. Now, some of you know that I have an old Ford Popular hot rod and it was painted by a guy called Dave Haskell. That is Dave's 34 Ford. Now Dave had a hand in all of these cars that are here today. So stay tuned and I'll show you what we've been up to today. Let me kick this off by showing you a little bit of old footage of my 1959 Ford Popular, which some of you guys have been asking to see. Now hopefully I'll be able to get this car back on the road again very soon. Now let's jump back about 15 or 20 years when I had a photo shoot with Dave and his 1934 Ford Coupe and Neil Tapman and his 34 sedan. The very short story is that following this shoot I was encouraged by a professional photographer to pursue my interest in photography and perhaps go full time. The rest, as they say, is history. Now let's get back to our special event. Earlier this year, Steve Barnard, who owns his 33 Tudor sedan, had the idea of throwing a little celebration get together to recognize and show our appreciation to the legendary Dave Haskell. Dave was responsible for straightening out the bodywork on my full pop and applying the paint. Well, that's a very quick version of what he actually did and it doesn't do him justice. So let me just drop in a couple of shots showing before and after. Now most of the hot rods at this private event were built ground up by Dave and that includes building the chassis, fitting the front and rear ends and making each car in his unique style and as you can see to the highest of standards. You really need to see the before and after photos to appreciate what a wizard Dave is. I could easily go into detail about each car, but I really want to give you guys just a quick look at each vehicle. Although I wasn't able to take my pop, I was pleased that I was able to attend and capture a few snaps of the cars to share with the owners. of the moment turned up in his stunning 34 full coup. Oh, 
at these cars. How are you doing? I'm all right. Hey, Lane. Yeah. Turn this off. By 30, go. Look at that. 30. There you go. Yeah. Let me turn this off. Like the head. I was also asked to take a couple of shots from a cherry picker, which was fun. We decided to split the pack into two groups, all the 31 to 34 falls together and everything else in the second group. On a personal level, I've known Dave for over 35 years. So Steve was kind enough to prepare a little presentation for Dave. But I'll skip most of this and just show you a couple of highlights which shows Dave's personality. Well, when he's on his best behaviour. Dave's day out. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's just Thank you so custom much. car, etc. And can still be added to. There's still some Sorry. spare sheets in the back of that. Oh. All right. Thank you, Stephen. You're such an old gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for a swear word there. No, I'm, I'm refrained. You'll, but you will get some later. Okay. <laughs> and Dave, just a little something. It's not my birthday. No, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> 
pepper. <laughs> I ain't got to open it now, have I? Yes. 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 Jackie wrapped it. Oh, I can't even open a present. Oh. Oh my God, it's the back of the bill. Thank you all for coming. I don't know what to say, really, apart from Jess Stop Wild wouldn't turn up. Um, <laughs> but, you know, thanks for Steve for putting it on, Steve for letting us in his grounds. I don't know what to say, really. I don't know how he got you here. What he spoke said he's, he was a car salesman. You have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got? Oh, it won't be long now. I spoke to his doctor. That's the, only <laughs> way, that's the only way I can think he got you here. But, you know, mm. I always said you can count your friends on one hand. Today I tell guys, thanks all for coming. You've all been great. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. My name's Dave Asquad. My agency Lane Murphy. Yeah, go on. <laughs> do. Dave! Hello, mate. Hello, mate. You all right? I'm good. I'm good. So, this is a man himself. This is the legendary Dave Haskell. Now, it's just going to be a little short video, Dave, but as you know, we've just had a little presentation. There have been a couple of little speeches and videos of some of your pals. We've just all got together to show our appreciation to you, what you've done in the hot rod scene, and what an amazing job you've done in all these cars. So, uh, your thoughts? Your thoughts on the day? Uh, I'm going home in a minute. No. <laughs> uh, I'm actually very touched. Uh, I don't know what to say really, you know, yeah. apart from Steve went to a lot of effort, everyone's gone to a lot of effort, no one really needed to turn up, which I didn't think they would, I thought I was just coming out for a ride, you know, it's been a wonderful day, I won't, obviously it won't get repeated again, so, you know, I just make the most of it and that's it, yeah. thank you very much for putting it on. And oh, it's, been, it's been a really, really good day to get all these cars together, and how many years ago was it that you actually got into her? hot rods and started building hot rods when i was about 17 i think 17 yeah 10 years ago something like that yes <laughs> <laughs> and that over the years any idea how many uh, cars have gone through your workshop no not really because the time they're gone i never want to see them again really <laughs> <laughs> now the great thing about you is everyone knows everyone who knows you you kind of do things a little bit differently to the normal hot rod scene don't you you live a little bit of a rock and roll lifestyle yeah uh you're gone, yeah. Yeah, and um, you also quite well known in the acting scene, been on TV. Oh, I'm resting at the moment. You're you know, resting at the I'm moment. I'm resting at the moment, yes. yeah. Are you uh, going to mention a couple of uh, series, TV programs that you've been in? Oh, I've done Comic Strip, Stella Street, uh, EastEnders. Yeah. Uh, what else? This is the scene I'm just kicking in now. Yeah, it uh, happens. Uh, what else? But uh, also, you love it. Ricky Gervais, Jonathan Creek. Yeah. Uh, and some commercials. Yeah. McDonald's. Colts, which I was just reminded of in there, by the way, when I had a fat suit on. <laughs> uh, what else have I done? I'm trying to think, actually. Uh, and also, you love your rock and roll scene as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's all fun. Nice fun. Yeah. You know, we're not going to be here forever. Well, I might be, but you well, won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Thanks so much for chatting to me. I know it's just very quick. It's not a it's just a make it up impromptu kind of little chat about the day. But I hope you've had a brilliant day. And thanks for everything you've done on my pop. You've done an amazing job with um, straightening out that body. It's taken a bit of pain off for me. And I can't wait to get it back on the road soon. No, thanks. Thanks for everyone for coming. I've had a great day. Thank you very much. Cheers. So these two are going to hate me for this. <laughs> but this is my good friend, Jeff. Your ex and this is Neil Tapman, my ex-friend. <laughs> so Jeff, I met Jeff when, well, I first saw Jeff when I was just leaving school. He was when whizzing around in a custom escort. Say again. When you were a wee lad. When I was a wee lad, I ended up working with Jeff. And uh, Jeff built my pop, did all the uh, chassis work, narrowed all the axles, everything else. And it's still running. And it's still running kind of occasion he needs to come out of the garage so that's my good friend Jeff and Mr Tapman you are the uh, legendary interior man aren't you occasionally yeah, occasionally, yeah. He's, so Neil's been um, trimming cars for how many years oh god I'm only 40 so 20 something yeah so it could be 40 years 
So most of these cars here, you've had a hand in, haven't you? Yeah. And as you can see, a man of few words, but the, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. So this is Neil's car. Let's take a look at this interior, shall we? Thanks as always for watching guys now, I really hope you've enjoyed this video it's a little bit different to what I normally do now when I go to a car show I always play the game which car will you take home with you so leave me know in the comments which car is your favorite I know which one I like anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video really soon take care and see you then subscribe like and comment.